In this Photoshop tutorial, let's take a look at how to add a glow to an object here in Photoshop. So you can see on the left, I have an icon here that has a glow effect. On the right, it doesn't. The left side actually has two effects here, a drop shadow, imagine that, and an outer glow, which makes a lot of sense. So the outer glow is kind of the smaller part, the drop shadow, the larger glow. And you could probably get away with two outer glows or whatnot, but I'll show you how to do this on this icon here on the right. So basically I have a picture and a mask on it that gives it the outline of uh, an app icon. And then I have a stroke around that outline just to kind of help it look like that, right? And so whatever the color is of the edge of your object, maybe that's what you want it to uh, sort of glow with. In this case, I have kind of a white and I want it to interact with the layer behind it. So what I'm gonna do here is add effects to this layer. So I can double click in the blank space to the right of the layer to open up the layer styles. Now these layer styles are affecting this icon on the right. And the two that I added, we can start with outer glow and I also added a drop shadow. That's because you actually, you can't add multiple outer glows. That's why I had to add a drop shadow, but a drop shadow doesn't have to be a shadow. It can be a bright, um, shadow, if you will, or a bright glow. So we'll start with the outer glow. This outer glow setting that I had was blend mode of screen, which the blend mode helps it blend into the background. It's an outer glow, so this is outside of our object. I went ahead and took the opacity all the way to 100%. I chose white as my glow color. However, you could choose whatever color you want, so you could see how some of these might affect how the background looks. It's slight, but you can see how it's a little bit green around the edge versus maybe a little bit pink around the edge or white just kind of gives this bright look around the edge. And then I have spread and size. So you have spread and size in your outer glow setting. Size is exactly that. It's sort of like the blurriness of it. So it can go out even blurrier. And then spread is sort of like how harsh is it or how how much is there of this glow? And so you can increase spread by a bunch and increase the size by a bunch to continue to increase that glow. This is very obviously too much. So I'm going to undo this. It looks like I can't go back further. So we'll just bring this back down, the size and the spread. I just want kind of the hint of a glow around this object just to begin uh, the glow. And then I want a bigger, softer glow outside of it. So this is the outer glow settings I have here. We'll just go 27, 27 on spread and size. Then I actually added a drop shadow. Now this drop shadow generally starts as a dark drop shadow. So you can see here as I bring the opacity up and maybe even the size up, it's actually a dark color. So what I would want to do is change the blend mode to, you know, we, we could keep it with screen. We could also do linear dodge. Anything in here, lighten to lighter color will help make it bright around the object. But if we do screen and then we select white again or something brighter, you can see now how that actually adds to the glow. And I think what I actually did over here is made it not screen, but I did a blend mode of linear dodge. And you can see how that actually affects the colors a little bit more. And then what we can do is just tweak the opacity we have distance here, that I set to zero so that it's even around all the edges. And then we have spread and size again. So we can spread this out, we can spread the size out, etc. We could bring it in uh, as far as the opacity, we could drop that down a little bit and kind of affect how that glow works. And so you can see how we've added this glow to the outside of our object. Now let me go look at this side because it looks like maybe the uh, color is affected a little bit more here. So let's go see what blend mode we used because there's multiple you can use depending on the look that you're going for. So I'm going to double click on these effects. That's how you can re-edit the effect and you can drop the effects down with this little arrow on the right on your layer. So this is the one on the left and let's go take a look at what I set for this guy. So the outer glow I actually set to linear dodge add instead of screen so we can make that adjustment. The drop shadow I actually used a color, so I didn't just use white. So if we cancel out of this and we look at the one we just created on the right, these are the type of tweaks that you can make. I just want to show you. 
that under outer glow, I actually set it as linear dodge add, so we could do that. And that gives it a much more glowy effect. And so, so much more that we'll probably have to kind of reduce the spread a little bit uh, just to make sure it doesn't overpower what's happening with the glow. And then we could go to drop shadow. And so this is where you can change the color, right? So if we change the color to something like this, you can see how it affects, you know, the color of the background as well. So depending on what, how you want this glow uh, to affect the background, I mean, you could even go into the purpley since this is kind of a purple icon. We could have some purple effect in there affecting the background as well. And so you can see how we can create a glow around any object here in Photoshop and you can tweak those settings to make it as bright and as glowy as you want.